What if you could heal any ailment with the power of the soul? I started nearly 30 years ago when I realized that when I touched people that their pain would go away. I just was able to freely allow that energy to flow through me. As time went on, I realized that it was because I loved and cared for people. I didn't see that wall that we tend to put between people, like, oh, well, that person's not related to me, so I can't feel for them like I would for my daughter or for my mother, or brother, sister, dad. So the way I see it is that I know and feel within my being that we are all interconnected, so it's easy for that energy to flow through, which I call love. It's just knowing, just, just a knowing, that intuitive feeling of where to place your hands. I envision my hands, my, my, my hands, physical hands, it's almost like going into the, the issue, the spot, and pulling out all that tension, that you can call it negative energy, that we hold on through lifetime. I always tell people to, if they're gonna come see me, to at least have two hours. And it's not that it's necessarily gonna take up two hours with each individual, but because everyone's, everyone's needs are different uh, when it comes to energy work and Reiki. So I always say, have two hour block with me so that way if I go over an hour, if I go over an hour and a half, you know, you have that space for me, that space and time for me. I use crystal bowls. Crystal bowls have a frequency, a vibration, which has been known to help in, with healing work. I use essential oils. Uh, essential oils are also known for healing and helping with energetic blockages within the body. So I'll, I'll tend to use them for uh, the chakras. I'll put it on a certain chakra wherever I feel guided. Everyone's a healer. It's, uh, it's not something new. Everyone's an intuitive. We just have different levels of abilities with regards to our intuitiveness and our healing abilities. As human beings, we need touch. It's important to us, for, I believe, for our survival and to know that we are loved and cared for. So this, this, this way of eating is basically um, based on a 4,000 500 year concept called the five elements and the five elements are fire earth metal water and wood once digestion goes out of balance That really and honestly the whole body goes out of balance this way of eating. This is not a diet macrobiotics It's an actual lifestyle macrobiotics is about or Ayurvedic and some other modalities, but the only two I know are macrobiotics and Ayurvedic is that um, this is about going to the cause, right? Because if we just keep on dealing with like the symptoms, then then we never we never then the, then the cause is still there, right? So the menu the menu is going to be um, an onion, mushroom, garlic, and scallion soup, and then I'm going to toast some mochi on it and serve a little piece of mochi on top and finish with some some miso, which is really really good for you. Dinner is going to be um, I'm going to make a scallopinis of um, salmon. And we're going to chop up some herbs and make a nice marinade. And then we're going to grill them and serve them over a warm polenta uh, with some wild mushrooms, garlic, and God knows what else. And then instead of using beef broth, we're going to use um, miso. It's a natural probiotic. Um, it helps clean the blood of heavy metals like radio radiation and things like that. So even too much miso is not good, right? So... Probably in these bowls, I would probably do about yay much. We can always get more, right? Okay, so you get some soup, right? So now we're going to take this, not out of frustration, but out of love. All my cooking involves love, is we're going to mix this in. Now we're going to get some more soup. Hopefully it tastes good. All right. Grab some fresh scallions. Yeah. So we're gonna take mochi and we're gonna just throw like little croutons of mochi into our soup. Yeah. If it doesn't taste good, don't tell the chef. 
right? Why are we here on this earth? Not just to eat, you know, drive fast cars, make lots of money, right? That's not the way to live. I don't think so, right? We're here to live, to bring our lives into balance, right? To, to see how we can help ourselves. And once we help ourselves, then we can help other people in the world. My cancer was created by me. And so the, the only one who can heal it, really and honestly, is me, right? So I'm healing myself. I'm still surviving. I was pretty much slammed into this. I was diagnosed with um, stage four prostate cancer about in March, it'll be eight years, and I, I changed my whole life. I called my doctor. I, I got signs and indicators of the universe and told her that I'm, I'm no longer coming to see her and that I'm no longer want any form of medication whatsoever anymore. She was, she's a really awesome doctor, and, and she just totally believes that medicine, you know, medicine will never cure me. I'm all done being on medicine, and now I'm just going to cure myself. And other people are going to help me. So you saw me raise your energy by thinning it out. <clears throat> and then there was finding the heal state and installing that, and then there was the removal of the affinities. So those all kind of go in together. Sometimes order is not necessarily what I first stated. It's a, just a satisfaction of being of service and helping people and having that as a purpose in life. Uh, it's just so fulfilling. You know, whether I'm working on a personal level, a communal level, or a global level, it, it doesn't matter. There's just so much satisfaction of the work that I do. 